Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. I hope this how-to video helps you out. And please, next time you need parts for your vehicle, think of 1AAuto.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to replace the lower control arm on this 2002 Chevy Suburban. And we show you on the passenger side, but the driver's side is the same procedure. And it's the same part and similar process on these Suburbans from 2000 to 2006. And the items you'll need is a new lower control arm from 1AAuto.com, 14, 15, 18, 21, 22, 24, and a 35 millimeter socket and ratchet with a socket extension, 21 millimeter wrench, locking pliers, a hammer, pry bar, torque wrench, jack and jack stands, spray paint, and a reciprocating saw depending on the condition of your vehicle. And we do recommend two people for this job and also air powered tools. Start off by spraying this bolt with some spray paint so that you can match up to the same thread where it was. And then just remove your hubcap by loosening up these lug nut caps and pulling the hubcap free. And then pry out this cap. And then loosen this 35 millimeter nut but don't remove it. Now you want to remove the lug nuts. If you don't have air powered tools, you want to do it while the vehicle's on the ground. You just loosen them preliminarily, raise the vehicle, remove the lug nuts the rest of the way, and then pull the wheel off. Now that the paint's had a chance to dry, just loosen this bolt all the way up, which loosens up the tension on uh, the torque tube. Remove this 24 millimeter nut. And now you want to loosen these, and it's a 24 millimeter nut and a 22 millimeter bolt. And we'll just fast forward as Mike loosens both of these. And you can remove the nut, but you want to keep the bolt in place. Using locking pliers, clip onto the top of your stabilizer link. And then remove this 14 millimeter bolt. Next, you want to remove this 21 millimeter nut, but in order to do that, you're going to first want to just jack up the lower control arm. And this will release some of the pressure on the shock. And then just remove that 21 millimeter bolt. And now with the nut back in place on the bottom of your lower control arm, just put the jack underneath it and just push this up. And then just hammer on the side of it and the knuckle will fall off of the lower control arm. Now you can lower the jack. And then you want to jack up underneath the lower control arm and remove the nut. If you have air powered tools, you can just remove this 35 millimeter nut the rest of the way and then remove the washer behind it. If you don't, you can use your socket and ratchet, but you will need someone to apply the brakes while you do this. And you also want to remove the stabilizer link now. And ours is jammed in there. You try with a hammer to knock it out. But we have to end up using a reciprocating saw to remove it the rest of the way. Meaning we will need to use a new stabilizer link. 
Now you want to remove these bolts around the axle. Use a pry bar on the hub to just hold that into place and then loosen up and remove each of those 15 millimeter bolts. Now just hammer the axle over to the side a little bit to break it free and then pull it straight back and out of the wheel and just pull it down and out. Push the shock out of the lower control arm. And then jack up the lower control arm until the wheel knuckle falls free. Now lift up the wheel knuckle and just let the jack fall free and you can pull it out the rest of the way. And then just remove those two bolts that you left on the back of the lower control arm. And we'll fast forward as Mike does this. Once you remove that bolt, you can just pull the control arm down. And you want to have someone lift up the wheel knuckle, or you can try to do both, but it's a lot easier as an extra person to lift that up. And you just pull that control arm down and over. On the right is the old control arm. On the left is the new one from 1A Auto. You can see they're identical and they'll fit exactly the same. And you want to get the control arm onto the torsion bar first. And sorry we didn't take a good uh, the video, we didn't take a good angle, but I'm working the um, kind of the nut part of the uh, control arm onto the torsion bar. And once I get that in place, then push it up in place and work your bolts back in. And we'll just fast forward as he replaces both nuts and tightens them up preliminarily. Okay, once you get the bolts back in, you can use a jack and support the uh, control arm and then line up um, the stud or the ball joint into the steering knuckle and then let the jack down and then actually put the jack underneath the steering knuckle and support just the steering knuckle raise the steering knuckle into place and put the bolt onto the ball joint and then tighten that up. And tightens up those other two bolts as well. Now feed your axle back into place. And line up the back. And just replace those 15 millimeter bolts. And we'll just fast forward as Mike does this. Now using your pry bar to hold the wheel still again, you just want to torque each of those bolts to 65 foot-pounds.
Now you want to put your stabilizer link back into place, starting with a washer and a grommet, then through the hole, and then another grommet, then a washer, then the tube. And then before going through the next hole, another washer and then a grommet. And then on the top, another grommet and another washer, then the nut. And if you don't have much room up there, then you can just use your jack stand to help push it through. And you want to do this until you can get the nut on the top. Now you can tighten up this 18 millimeter bolt back to the line of the paint. Now replace the lower bolt in the shock and just tighten that up and we'll fast forward as Mike does this. Okay, here I'm torquing the control arm bolts. You'll notice I have the jack underneath the control arm. I'm basically got the full weight on the control arm, I'm getting it into position. Um, so when you torque them, you want them in the riding position. Now tighten up your link so that the bushings are basically the same width as the washers. Now replace this 35 millimeter nut and tighten it up. Put the wheel back into place. And then replace each of your lug nuts and tighten them up. You want to tighten them preliminarily, lower the vehicle, and then tighten them the rest of the way. And torque each lug nut in a crossing pattern to 100 foot pounds. Okay, now torque your center hub nut to 160 foot pounds then put the dust cap on there which if you notice I forgot to do um, and then put the hub cap on. We hope this video helps you out brought to you by 1aauto.com your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet please feel free to call us toll free 888-844-3393 with a company that's here for you on the internet and in person.